What's up guys? So we got a special treat here. We have early access to Evolution the video game which is now live on Kickstarter. So let's put the disclaimer out there guys. This game is in early access. This is you know pre-alpha footage, alpha footage, whatever you want to call it. This is not going to be the finalized game. The game will look a little bit different than this. Uh, things are subject to change. So let's jump into this. Evolution is a widely popular board game that you can find in local stores like Target and Toys R Us here in North America. This is the video game version of it. You can purchase the digital version. It looks like it's going to be $10 for a digital version of this on you know, Steam, iOS, Android, and then it's, kick it's being kickstarted right now, so the link is down below. Let's take a look. It looks like all the core principles of evolution are here. You build a species. So this is a species, a brand new species. We are now being told, this is the tutorial here. This is what happens when you first start the game. We are being told to use one of our cards to increase the population size on our creature here. So next up, we are giving it one more population. So we're making it bigger. You use your cards to either, either give your creature traits or to increase the population of the creature. There's also another one which we're going to get to in just a second. So right now, oh no, another species has come to the watering hole fighting over food. That's what you are competing over. This is the food source. You starve in this game if you do not eat your food. So we're going to go ahead and click on our species. We're going to go ahead and eat our food. Two population didn't get food and they starve. So we lost our population down. Since we only ate one food, our population went back down to one instead of the three. The environment can be unforgiving unless you adapt. So now we're going to actually play our cards here. So this one says take one additional plant food. So we added this trait now. So when we eat, he's got foraging, which means he's going to take more food. That's awesome. So we're going to take two food every time that we eat. The cursor over the forging trait to read its ability. Add a population so you have enough food to unfed population to take two food at a time. So if we only have one here, we can only eat one. If we have two, we can eat two. The opponent is once again playing a card as well. There's two food in the watering hole. And now we're actually going up to eat first. So look at this. We're going to eat both of the food. Therefore starving our opponent's creature who is now extinct. The amount of food that is put into the water hole is determined by the players. We'll get into that in just a second here. Play cards. So the opponent is playing creatures. They're making new species. And it looks like they're allowing you to have a max of three species. So they're showing us here that we can use one of our cards. They want us to use this card right here to create a brand new species. Oh, no, we can actually have more. Look, there's two more. So we can add four here. You can use any card to create a new species or population. The card you use only makes a difference when playing at traits. So let's go ahead and let's add some more populations here. This guy's got a trait. This guy doesn't have a trait. He's got two. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to make sure that we eat. So we're going to be taking, you know, turn order. So let's see, we have cooperation. Every feeding, share one food to the right. So let's go ahead and let's make another species. And then let's also give them the traits here. And then let's go ahead and let's see, do we want to give them the traits? No, because he wouldn't be able to. Let's go ahead and increase his food size. You need to... Oh, okay. Cooperation shares one food to the species to the right. You need to place each card on a tree. <laughs> they want us to... To do this. Okay. So it's eating. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat. So that, that one ate, that one ate, that one ate, and we all got our food there. For every species you keep alive, you get an extra card at the end of the next round. Or the beginning of the next round, I should say. The dino signifies who's going first. First player marker right there. And you see we got a lot more cards now. At the start of each round, you'll choose how much food to add to the watering hole. So he puts a card in there, and now we put a card in there. You can see how much food these are worth. This one is worth 10. That's worth a ton of food. We can also starve 
the water hole by negative two here. So we've got three population to feed right on. Choose wisely. So what should we do, guys? What should we do here? Let's go ahead and see what kind of cards we got. We got more cooperation. More cooperation. More cooperation. We've also got forging. And we've got negative two. We're going up first. So let's go ahead and put the negative two on here. Let's go ahead and try and starve. Oh, it doesn't want us to do that. No. Man, we had a great combo going here. All right, so it does not want us to do that. Let's go ahead and put this one. Nope. All right. Nope. All right, so we put three up there. Because the goal is to, again, feed your guys, but then to starve your opponents. You can choose how to adapt this round. Remember, there are three action. New species, add population, or add a trait. All right, so let's play our cards here. Let's go ahead and create some new species. And let's go ahead and add the cooperation on there. So we're going to chain effect everything. We don't know how much food is in here. We know there's at least three because that's our contribution. So we can go ahead and... Oh, this is going to be really nice, guys. That's an undo button. Try again. Undo last play. Go ahead and punch in when you're... Oh, man. So they don't want us to... Uh, they want us to hold on to our cards here. Tutorial, what are you doing to me, man? All right, we're going to end our turn. See what he plays. He is buffing up his uh, his species over there. Let's see how much in here. So we got seven. Get more food than your opponent to win. So we're gonna go ahead and eat with our first one, which is gonna go ahead and chomp down and feed all our species. Which we could have done a bigger combo if the computer let us do it. Hey, hey. Although they did starve a little bit, we would have starved them even more if we built another species and then gave cooperation to this creature over here as well. So, overall, look at all these cards that we've got now. Tons and tons of cards. A round consists of select food cards, play cards, reveal foods, feed species. If you're ever not sure what to do, check the status bar at the bottom of the screen. Look at all these cards we got now. You can see this is the benefit of playing a lot of species. So let's go ahead and have a massive turn here. They're going first. They're going to eat two each. If you cursor over, you can see what kind of traits they have. So they're going to take two food each. So they're going to be eating a lot of food. We're going to be eating a lot of food. We got tons and tons and tons of food here. So let's go ahead and add a big 10 right there to the water pool. They're playing a lot more cards and they're also increasing their population there. Glorious things happen when traits combine. Mix and match. All right. Uh, it wants us to mix and match. So let's go ahead and mix and match our forging here. So we're giving him forging. Let's go ahead and create a species. Will let us? Yes, it finally lets us create another species, guys. All right, we're going to go give him cooperation there. Let's see, can we create another? Okay, so five is the max amount of species, at least here in the in the demo here. So we have take an additional food, take an additional food, take an additional food. We need to actually increase our food so we can eat all these foods right here. And we're going to go ahead and, and just buff our, our first one up right there. We're going to go ahead and end our turn. Generally, it's a good idea to use all of your cards. So look at all that food there, guys. We're definitely going to be chowing down. Wow, he got a whole bunch of food on his turn. He ate a lot there. There's seven left. Let's see uh, what we can do here. And we are going to eat all seven food. It looks like we we're a little short. We lost one. That's okay, guys. That's okay. We still got more food than them. Our creatures are getting bigger and bigger. It's our turn to go first. We definitely need a lot of food in the water hole here. We don't have any big foods. Ooh, this is going to be scary here. So our highest card is a four. So let's go ahead and put four in there. Ah, okay, so we can't... So there's four... 
We can eat. We're gonna eat two. We're gonna eat two. We're gonna eat. Oh man, we might want to just hold off on our cards at this point, because we put four. We don't know how much they put in there. All right, I think we're gonna end our turn here. I don't think there's gonna be that much food. We're going first. We're gonna chomp down and eat, 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 eat. So let's go ahead and end our card, saving our cards here. We're gonna hopefully starve out our opponent here, unless he put a massive amount of food in there. All right, so he put four. We're gonna eat actually seven right now. This is really good. So we're gonna starve every one of his creatures except for one, because this creature's gonna eat two, this creature's gonna eat two, this creature's gonna eat two, and this creature's gonna eat one. So we gambled and we uh, we went seven. And we just destroyed extinction on the opponent's creatures right there. Very, very big turn for us right now. And uh, this game is pretty much all over. 21 points. And their points should be somewhere up here. But again, this is the tutorial, so their points aren't being visible, looks like. Uh, Drats, we eat last again. We got a new trait that can help. A long net reaches our food outside of the watering hole. And look at all these cards that we got right here. So long neck, before feeding, receive one free plant food. All right. So we need a lot of food in there, otherwise we're gonna die. So let's go ahead and put four, that's the highest amount of food that we can. And it didn't let us actually play our cards. Okay, wait a minute, so use long neck at the start of a cooperation chain and watch what happens. So it's gonna trigger first. So it's gonna eat, and then it's gonna trigger the cooperation which shares to share to share to share. So we're gonna eat a lot of food here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put the long neck there as well. Let's go ahead and add a new uh, new species here. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Let's go ahead and increase that up to two. And let's give this a go, guys. Oh, we have another long neck, so we can go ahead and add another long neck right there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's give this a go. Oh wow, so long neck actually works a lot different in the mobile version here. Um, it happened before any of the food came out, long neck just automatically triggered. Normally in the board game version, long neck you need to have food in the watering hole for it to trigger. Um, so that was very interesting, that was definitely different right there. The long neck is amazing in the mobile version, that seems really overpowered right now. Just getting free food. When the deck runs out, yep. So we can uh, hover the mouse over the deck, see what round you're in. So last round, we've got the dino, we're going first, and uh, man, do we have any food in here? Nope, no more massive food. So let's put our highest one in there. Uh, and let's go ahead and put the, our long neck on these guys as well. Oh, we gotta put our card in the middle. All right, so let's go ahead and put our long neck. Nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, so we got the long neck there. Let's go ahead and increase the population. Increase the population. Increase the population. Increase the population. Alright, so cooperation. Feeding share one through the right. Alright, so he's gonna long neck. Which means he's gonna get one. When that triggers, the cooperation is gonna trigger. One food to the right. So he's gonna get one. The long neck's gonna get two. So he's gonna have two already. So we need to actually buff him up to four, I think. We'll buff him up to four. We'll buff him up to four. And. Yeah, let's go like that. Your population and your traits in play also count. Okay, so our traits in play count. So let's go ahead and just give these traits to this guy. Even though it's not going to matter too much, the long neck definitely helps to eat some more food. Let's go ahead and use our cards because we're going to get a lot of a lot of food this turn, guys. So here comes the long neck triggering all of these guys. 
Look at the, the second long neck trigger, like filling pretty much everything up. And wow, we only have one food slot, so we could have actually increased um, our food intake by a lot there. I misread the combos. But look at this, we still got a ton of food and we starved them slightly over there. Look at all that food that we ate. We are just piggies. That is pretty impressive. 48 food. Wow. Simply smashing work for a biologist. Your score is all the food you ate, plus your ending population, plus your traits in play at the end of the game. Next up, carnivores. Or we can play the watering hole again to try to make sure you got the basics. No, I'm ready for some more here. So yes, there is more depth to this game than just this. This is the basics. Get ready for carnivores, guys. This is where the insane fun happens. You get to eat other creatures. So as carnivores sound, carnivores eat other creatures. You have to be bigger uh, in uh, population. Uh, no, bigger in body size, which you haven't gotten to that yet, than your opponents, I believe. So let's see if this is similar to the board game. So there are cards that will turn your creature into a carnivore. Predators afoot on the island. Go ahead and pick your card for food. So in the beginning here, there's not much that we can do. We can take additional plant food. We got cooperation. Um, let's go ahead and see. So da -da 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 -da. I think we're gonna have a lot. Of, we're gonna put a lot of food in here because we're gonna eventually just go wide. We are going first. We got the dino. So let's go ahead and do cooperation. No. So let's go ahead and do cooperation here. Cooperation. So every time I feed, I'm going to share one food to the right. So let's go ahead and create a creature on the right here. Uh, and the question is, which card do we want to uh, get rid of here? I guess we'll get rid of uh, that and then go like that. Oops. That's the undo button right here. Oh, we turned into a carnivore. That is not good. So look at this, the carnivore over there. Very, very dangerous. So you can read the ability, must attack and eat other species. So he's gonna eat our guy, killing us and killing all the trait cards on the creature. Thankfully though, when you do get killed, you get your the traits back as new cards. So he devoured us. Each attack takes one population. He's got the dino now. And look at all this food. There's, there's five food in the watering hole. This is the first time we've ever had excess food. Carnivores can't eat plant food. All that food in the middle is yours for the taking. Play your food card. All right, so what to do here? We can just constantly get a lot of food in here, but we are, are very, very scared of this carnivore. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do, guys? Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and put the big food in there. Let's put seven. Yep, so here we go. They're showing us the body size. Carnivores can only attack smaller species. It's currently a body size of two. We must defend ourselves. Protect your body size by increasing the body size. So we're gonna increase ourselves up to two. And then we're gonna give him forging. We don't wanna create another creature because that creature will start off at a one, one level and he'll be eaten by the carnivore. Oh, they want us to create another species and protect it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that because this is a tutorial and they're forcing us to do this. So let's go ahead and create another species. Um, the long neck just seems really, really OP in the digital version. So we're going to keep that card. Let's go ahead and there. And then increase that one. And then let's go ahead 
and up the population right there. So we're bigger or equal to in body size, and he will not be able to eat anything. So we're going to be able to just chomp away on all the food, and he should not be able to attack us. Yep, see, the carnival is unable to attack because we're two, and all our creatures are two as well. And look at all this food in there. There's still ten food in the watering hole now, which is great for us. We can start going wide and adding a lot of creatures. A new trait, climbing! So climbing is a great defensive card. Must have climbing to attack this species. This is a defensive card again that will stop carnivores from attacking you. So as long as the carnivore doesn't have the climbing trait, they cannot attack you. Alright, which card? So there's a lot of food in there. Um, man, he's got a 1-1. Because every time you start off with a 1-1 creature... I think we're going to go wide again. And we're up first. So we have cooperation, which is good. Let's go and add a whole bunch of food in here. So we added the five. We're gonna go ahead and play our cards. Okay, so as defense and offense. I don't know how climbing can work as offense, really. Um, okay, but I guess so. If you say so, Professor. Let's go ahead and add cooperation here to this guy. Let's go ahead and ditch our climbing and make another creature. And then let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do forging there, and then go ahead and increase. So we're hoping that he does not turn into a carnivore again. Uh oh. He added three. That means he's going into carnivore mode. Only a climbing carnivore can reach prey hiding in the trees. So again, we wasted our carnivore card or climbing cards, but we're gonna go and eat. Eat, 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 eat. And the points that we accumulate are actually gonna stay with us if this is like the board game. So even though they're gonna kill us down, knock us down, we're still gonna keep our, our foods. Our, our, our foods that we ate. We'll see if that works. We're gonna go ahead and eat over here. And there we go. So we got four. So we actually did, we lost our food, so it did not stay. Unlike the board game where if you have food, if you've eaten it, it stays. So definitely some slight variations in the digital version, but it's very, very similar to the board game. Alright, last turn. So we are at 10 points right now. This is often a good time to go on the attack. Choose a food card. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Oh, we got a carnivore card. We got two carnivore cards. I don't know if attacking is the right move. We want to eat food. There's 11 in here. We can get a whole bunch of food. So let's go ahead and ditch one of our carnivore cards. And see, so he did not increase his body size, which means we can go to 3-3. Three, three. They're gonna go first, so he'd be able to eat my little minion over here. So the cooperation won't do anything because he's gonna be dead. So we can use this to increase our body size. Oh, we can make it have climbing. No, that would work. All right, so we're gonna give this creature climbing, so he cannot be eaten because he uh, has climbing. So we're gonna use the climbing as a defensive tool. We're gonna go and get rid of our carnivore because we don't want to be carnivores. We want to eat all the plant food. There. Let's go and increase our our food, our population there. And let's go and increase our food once again. Oh, they're making us. They're forcing us to become a carnivore. I. Alright, 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 guys. Let's see. Alright, so 
we're gonna go carnivore on that guy. Let's go climbing there. We have to increase our body size. Let's see, what is this? This is a two over here. Huh, do we want to eat this big one? No, he's gonna starve through that. He can't eat anything at all. Uh, well, actually, he could. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so now. We're a carnivore. Drag your carnivore to the prey. So let's go and eat this guy right here. Yum, 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 yum. Cooperation still triggers. Giving the food over there. He's gotta eat himself. He's gotta eat his own creature. Otherwise, the carnivore would die. And we're just gonna go in now and start just numbing, num, 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 eating the foods. And you see, the carnivore food is red right there. It still counts as one point. And we're definitely doing really good here. Don't hesitate to sabotage the food supply if you don't need it. So, yep, we can put zero in there. So, I guess they're, they're wanting us to put zero in there. Because that's what they're saying. Sabotage. Add an offensive trait or add body size. Yep, because we don't know what our opponent's going to do here. So, um, we can uh, add an offensive traits. We can change out these cards here. So, let's go ahead and add climbing to him. Let's get rid of the... Forging. Let's go ahead and increase the body size. Increase the body size. Because for in order for him to actually eat something, he's gonna have to increase his body size. Let's increase our body size, and there we go. Put the cooperation there. Um nope. Ha! Huh. So he's gonna have to eat himself. His carnivore here. Oh, and this one's got climbing, so it can't. Alright, so this carnivore cannot eat anything because it's a three, and we are a five, we're a four. This one has climbing, so he cannot reach the climbing creature. He cannot even eat his own self because this one's got climbing as well. So this one we don't have to touch whatsoever because it cannot eat anything out in the field. So we're gonna go and eat his climbing extra creature over there because that's the only target that he can actually use right now now his turn is going to end because he won't be able to use his creature so now it's just our turn to eat the rest of the food until we have filled up and we have completely obliterated his species over there on this turn such a great turn for us this time and this is the last round here look at all this food we have 15 food in the watering hole we're gonna go crazy in this one. Play your food. All right, so we don't need that much food in here. So let's go and throw the, the two in there. He built two creatures and that one's got a three. So that one could be a carnivore with climbing maybe. I'm guessing that's probably what the AI is doing there. They are going first. If it's carnivore, nope. So, it, yeah, it, it can't be a carnivore with climbing, because to be a carnivore, you have to have a card that says carnivore. So this is, is a mistake. Whatever he's doing is horrible here, unless we create new species that are only a one body size. So let's see. So again, very, very tactical. You have to think about what your opponents are doing. We have this game in the bag already, but I just want to just, I just want to crush the AI here. So if you make another creature, this one's gonna share food. So the share food there, okay. there. Let's make another creature. Let's go ahead and increase the body size up to three, and then let's go ahead and. Go like that. Get some more food here. Uh, 
So he did turn into a carnivore, but again, he's gonna have no targets to actually eat. So he has to eat his own creature. Look at that, guys. He is gonna get obliterated in this round, so he can't eat anything else. We're gonna go ahead and eat. We're gonna go ahead and eat. We're gonna go ahead and eat. And we're gonna go eat. And then now we're gonna go eat him with our carnivore. Carnivores can eat other carnivores. And once again, we just wiped out his entire species. So hopefully you enjoyed the demonstration here. This is Evolution, the video game. They're definitely very fun. It's a long, long tutorial, long time to get uh, you know, get your head wrapped around this. Tons and tons of strategy. This game, again, is in early access. It is subject to change. You can kickstart it now. It is fully funded on Kickstarter. Uh, go down there. Ten bucks will get you two copies of the game. So get a copy on either iOS, Android, or Steam of your choice. Yeah, amazing stuff, guys. The link is down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you had a good time and you learned something about species, evolution, extinction, carnivores, and all that crazy stuff.